All right, so with the kind of the change in coaches and now you've got two years as a coach for interim, how has the change been for you? Like, have you taken a more of a leadership role? Has, has anything changed with you? Uh, I mean, it's been a leadership role uh, the whole season. Uh, I think this is the time where leaders step up. And uh, I think we have, um, I think John T. New, you know, other older guys, other captains, uh, has done an awesome job stepping up and helping to lead the team. What's it been like having two as a, the interim coach? Kind of, Is there any difference, anything he's been doing differently? No, that... no. Nah, nah, uh, our practice has been loose, uh, just like it is every week uh, or every day that Sark was here. Um, we're practicing, we're bringing energy, and, uh, you know, that's all we can ask for. Is there anything different since Sark's been gone with the team, or did you guys just kind of move on pretty quickly? Or I mean, when you're losing a leader, it's, it's right. hard to replace that. You could kind of sense a difference, but uh, difference sometimes isn't ba a bad thing. Right. You know, uh, a lot of guys are st starting to step up. Um, guys are making plays. Guys are mature enough to know uh, the situation that we're in. We know that we need to get to nine wins, and uh, guys are preparing uh, like we do any other day. Uh, our preparation hasn't wavered. When you talk about getting that ninth win, you guys, you've been on that seven-win threshold since you've been here. Now you get to eight. Now you have a chance to get to nine. How big is that just overall? Uh, it's huge for the program. Uh, we haven't been able to do it in a very long time. I think it's since 2001. Uh, so we have a, a chance to kind of, I don't know, rewrite history. Um, it'll be very important. It'll give the team next year a great momentum going into their uh, first game next season. And uh, so I, I think it's, it's a tremendous challenge, uh, but it's definitely attainable. What is it about Coach Tuyas Sopo that you think guys respond to well that makes them fit for this? Well, it's easy um, to listen to a guy who's already been here before, who's won championships, who played at the next level, um, and played here at a very high level. He was one of the best quarterbacks in the country, one of the best quarterbacks to ever come through this university. Um, so anytime you have a great leader like that, um, it's easier um, to listen to him. When it's your position, coach, do they, they name the interim coach? I mean, do you get a little excited? Yeah, I'm excited for the guy. Uh, he works so hard. I see all the hours that he put in. Uh, he deserves a shot. Um, he deserves this opportunity, and uh, we're going to play hard for him. So we talked to you after the day, the day Coach Sark left, but with your, your reaction to Chris Peterson being hired? and <laughs> uh, Coach Pete, man, he's a great guy. Um, I've seen his track record. Um, numbers don't lie, man. No matter how you slice it, uh, numbers don't lie. He's one of the best, uh, one of the best uh, head coaches in the country, and uh, I mean it's proven. You get a chat. Uh, you're not gonna play for him, but you get a chance to talk to him yet? Or? Oh yeah, I chatted with him. I chatted with him a little today. I chatted with him a little yesterday. Uh, he's a great guy, um, a great motivational speaker, and uh, you can tell he's loose. Yeah. Is it a little frustrating that you can't play for him? Is there kind of that itch that you wish you could somehow magically get that sixth year? Or? I'm not sure. I can't even imagine my career without, you know, the coaches that I had. Um, like I said, throughout my career, there's nothing that I would change about my career. Um, but if I was able to play to play for him for a game, that would be awesome. But uh, obviously, that uh, opportunity isn't presented. Shoulder feeling better with the time off? Awesome. Yeah. Awesome.